Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvahs HaKatsar. And we are in Mitzvahs Laisa say negative commandment number 13. Shaloli Shava Meshem Avaydezar, that a person is not allowed to swear in the name of Avaydezar of an idol. Shinema, like it says, Veshem Elohim Achirim Laisa Skiru. You should not mention the name of foreign gods, of other gods that people use as Avodah as idol worship. Nor should you make a nether, a vow, in the name of a certain Avodah You can't say, I swear in the name of whatever that idol is and that I'm going to do X, X, Y, and Z. Can't do such a thing. Included in this prohibition is Shalol HaShbiya Goy Biyarasai. Even to have a non-Jew swear on the name of his Avaydazara, even that is going to be Asr, says the Chavetz Chaim. We give no credence at all to the Avaydazara and its powers. And then he adds, even just to mention the name of a particular idol, even if it's not Bader Shavu, even if you're not doing it as to, to make a vow or the like, Asr, a person should not say that name. A person should not say to his friend, He shouldn't say to his friend, uh, Meet me or wait for me at the side of that Avaydazara over there. And he says the name. We, again, Avaydazara is, is coming from a very impure place. It is the antithesis of Amunah of belief in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It, is, it wreaks havoc and brings destruction to the world. And therefore, we want to give no credence. We want to go give no recognition. We don't want to give any accolades, nothing at all to the world of Avodah Zarah. We want to diminish the powers of Avodah Zarah that are in this world so we don't even mention as if it, as if it doesn't exist. V'Avodah Zarah, the Chayetzim Bezai says the Chavetz Chaim, in similar cases like this, be very careful how you mention the, the, about mentioning the name of the Avodah Zarah. However, when there are different types of Avaydazar, of idols and the worship that's written in Tanakh, then you're actually allowed to mention the name. All of those Avaydazars which appear throughout Tanakh, there you're allowed to mention them. Because they're already mentioned in the, in the Psukim, so you're reading the Psukim, they are there. Nevertheless, you're not allowed to ask anybody else to take a shavua, to make a, a vow, or to swear in the name of those avodah even the ones that are already written in the Chumash or the Tanakh, like we're talking about over here, Pa'or, Baal, Nevai. Still, there's a prohibition of getting somebody else to end up swearing or vowing in their name. The and this is a mitzvah that is naig that we keep everywhere all of the time, with men and with women. And therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, once again, how careful a person must be with the world of Avodah Zarah, the, even mentioning the name has, can have negative effects on the person. Even mentioning the name can bring in the tumor, can bring the impurity into this world. And therefore, we don't even talk about it. We don't give it any honor. We don't give it any respect. We don't give it even. We don't even acknowledge the existence because, in reality, Avodah doesn't exist. It's part of it. Hakadosh Baruch exists. Hakadosh Baruch is Kel Melech Neeman. He's the one and the only God of this world. Avodah is a figment of the imagination of the people that have created it and put their trust in there because they wanted to run away from the Rebbein Nishayim. And therefore, since that there is no kayach, there is no power, there is no reality to the Vodizara. We show that by not even acknowledging its existence, by not even saying its name and the like. Have, have a wonderful day.